Amen, amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Bless her, you know. I thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Jesus, I thank you, Lord. Always want to give all honor, honor, honor to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for all things. I thank the Lord for the choir with that beautiful selection. I thank the Lord. <laughs> Truly, I thank the Lord. Truly, I'm going to say, Truly, I thank the Lord. Now I'm going to not hold you any longer. I'm going to give uh, ask our brother Kevin to uh, come up now, and he's going to take over from now. Amen? Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Greetings, everyone. Thank God for all of you uh, being present. I want to thank God for our visitors, for all the other members who decided to uh, fellowship with us today. Um, to our visitors, we want you to look at the back of your program. It has the three temples in the Virginia area, the Fredericksburg, Newport News, and Forsyth temples. On that program is the address for each location and the time for service. Also, um, um, to our brothers, excuse me, to our brothers, before I go any further, all those that designated to take up the offering, if you will, please do so at this time. To all of the brothers designated to take up the offering, please do so at this time. Um, we have two announcements. The first is from the youth committee. It reads, greetings, brothers and sisters. Your first church youth captains would like to cordially invite everyone to our upcoming youth holy convocation, celebrating 40 years of leadership, which will be held at the headquarters temple beginning Thursday, March the 28th, through Sunday, March the 31st. On Thursday, March the 28th, the youth top golf off outing will take place. Those under 18 must be accompanied by a parent or guardian. Registration is highly recommended to secure your spot. On Friday, March the 29th, the youth meet and greet welcome breakfast will take place, as well as the young, disabled, and holy college meet and greet luncheon high school seniors and that's for high school seniors and college students the youth entrepreneurial shark tank and all entrepreneurs and future entrepreneurs and there will be an ask pastor jennings session for youth 18 and under on saturday march the 30th the first church vendor fair the first church members showcasing their services and goods will take place also adulting 101 single and striving with pastor jennings for single people 19 and older and also after the I do with Pastor Jennings for married only and please come dress for church. Please note a designated youth and kids room will be available for our young brothers and sisters as well as an all day open prayer room and all are welcome. In addition, youth t-shirts are available and will be on sale during the vendor fair. The cost is $20 and for more information on the list and times of all events, you can visit our youth events page and or email the youth captain. We look forward to seeing you all there. Peace be unto you from our first church youth captain. And lastly, immediately after service, the International Mass Choir will have a rehearsal. That is it for our announcements. Now it is time for the most important part of worship. I'm gonna turn the services over into the hands of the elder in the Newport News Temple, Elder James Wright. Unto the mercy of the one true God, defender of all true prophets, and of all true messengers. I certainly thank you unto him for all the ministering brothers, leader, uh, leader, chief, and guide, them were overseer, and all the ministering brothers that are faithfully related to him. I thank God for being here in Richmond, for the word of God being preached today. I thank God that God has given us the leader, chief, and guide to teach us the way of God's sound doctrine. So many men as I've seen have been taken over the years, but sound doctrine. Because he's willing to continue steadfast in the apostle doctrine. We thank God for that because truly it's a blessing. When you look at all these ministers and all this work that they have going on in the land today, and yet you look at it from, from, from a biblical point of view, you see that they're wavy, they're double minded, they're hungry, they're hungry for money. But we thank God that you can look and see the work going on here and the funds that have been raised and the things that have been done is truly of God. We thank God for the work that He laid and doing. So this work is not in vain, because the scripture says your labor is not in vain in him. So brothers and sisters, I encourage you, be not weary and well-doing, because you shall reap if you continue to be steadfast in his faith. 
we certainly thank God for Pastor Jennings because some may not believe him for the word that he preached. We certainly can't deny the work that is being done. And we know, as the scripture says, no man can do these things except God be with him. And we'll certainly thank God for our leader, our leader, teaching guide, Pastor Chino Jennings. Thank the one God for his divine wisdom and his perfect understanding of all things. We thank him for the prophets. We thank him for the apostles. We thank him for the way of holiness that God revealed to them for our learning. We are glad to be back here in Richmond, Virginia again. Give God all honor and all praise, and certainly by all means do him. I'm glad for all of you that are here that can fit in. Those that may be sitting out there in the lobby, we hope you are able to find somewhere to place the people to all of our ministers. More importantly, we thank God for the scriptures. There's no reason for nobody who's driving with headlights <laughs> to hit anything. If you have your headlights on and the road is well lit, you pretty much ought to know where you're going. <laughs> the Bible is our headlights to eternity. There's no reason for no one to drive towards hell if you understand the scriptures. Because you can have the scriptures and still be lost. But if what you believe, what you practice, what you've been taught, it's all wrapped around with scripture and it can stand the scriptural test then you're driving good. That's what got me traveling at such a rate internationally because we're in the soul saving business. We're not running around robbing people out of their money and putting on fake healing programs. If God don't heal you, you'll die sick. And I didn't stutter, did I? <laughs> God don't hear you. I said, if God don't do it, the doctors can entertain you, fool with you, and give you something to sustain you for a while. But the one true deliverer for mankind is God himself. I was making my way here. There was a young brother that stopped us. And gave us a beautiful testimony, which lets me know. You know, there's sometimes small things that take place. God reminds you how he the same yesterday and today and forevermore. He began to give me a testimony uh, in D.C. So many people, I don't remember who I pray for at times, but... He said, you prayed for me in Washington, D.C. I had a blood clot that burst. He said, and I was in the hospital, and the doctors put a tube or something in me and told me not to travel nowhere, but he said, I felt the need to be there if you're coming in town. He said, when you lay hands on me and prayed for me, I felt something wrapped around that blood clot. He said, God healed me of it. That's wonderful. God healed him. Who says God is not a healer today? Let us bear in mind, he gave the message of holiness and sanctification, which means to be set apart from everything. 
to all of his apostles. Everybody that come after the apostles must preach, teach, practice the exact same thing. Whatever Jesus stood for, they stood for. And what Jesus done when he was here walking earth, there's nothing that he done that discontinues right. for today. Yeah. Hear me good. You that are watching around the world, we are broadcasting live from the wicked city of Richmond, Virginia. <laughs> Amen. Two weeks ago, I was in that demonic city of Washington, D.C., where we baptized 122 in the name of the Lord Jesus. And I want to say to all of our viewers throughout Washington and surrounding areas of Maryland, uh, we are opening up a temporary location starting the first Sunday of May, where the first church of our Lord Jesus Christ of the Washington, D.C. area will begin. Thank God for that. God willing, I'll be there in person for that one day to get you organized and get you set. I only can do one place at a time. Richmond, God willing, we'll open up something for you. That's my purpose of being back again. Amen. That's my purpose. My purpose of being back here again is just not passing through. My purpose of being here again to knock out everything that's not like Bible and build a work according to the Bible. That's why we're here again. There are many men that oppose what the scripture says, and what's so ironic, many men that oppose the scriptures say they're saved. They are born again. Whatever Jesus did, whatever. We got to do. Got to do it. Hear me good? That's right. Whatever. Jesus did as well as what he taught. That's right. How you think the apostles knew what to do, how to do, what to preach, what not to preach. Jesus died and rose again, and then the Bible says, then opened he their understanding. That's it. They understood the teachings of Jesus. That's why I don't accept what nobody said. Unless it's written here. That's right. Do you get what I'm saying? Yes, if you come along today and tell me there's no more baptism in the name of Jesus Christ, I'll listen to you. But then I'm going to tell you, go to the Bible. Where the Bible says no more baptisms in the name of Jesus Christ. It'd be good That's right. if you say nobody speak in tongue no more. no more. Then I listen to you. Then when you're done, I'm going to ask you, where is it in the Bible? Right. Now, you may get the scripture that says tongue shall cease. I agree. But have they? Have they? Longer the church is here, speaking in tongue is here. That's right. Amen. You may say, God gave me a revelation. We don't tarry for the Holy Ghost no more. The church is not supposed to tarry. Well, whatever, whatever. Jesus did, what he did. Did you not know Jesus tarry? Tarry just yeah. simply means to wait. That's it. Better give me John. Mm -hmm. Jesus came, I believe, and tarried, and there he baptized. If I'm yes, correct, yes. John 3.22, is it? <laughs> Amen. Amen. 
Because there's a doctrine floating around. And I'm a back catcher, you know. I'm in the backfield with Bible. With the Bible. And someone threw a lie in my mitt. Yes, they did. And I look it over. <laughs> Amen. And I find it's unscriptural. Don't right. you know the Bible said he left us an example? That ye should follow. That we should follow his steps. His steps. Now let's see what Jesus does. Now in the book of St. John, chapter 3 and verse 22. Hear me good. After these things the came Jesus and his disciples. You know, I, when I was a little, my father gave me a job. That I had to take out the trash in the house. My father in heaven gave me the same job. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm right. taking out all universal trash. That's right. All of it. All of it. All trash teaching. That's right. All rubbish teaching. All rubbish. All teaching that contradict the Bible. I don't care if you speak in tongue, shake, jump, and shout. I'll wait till you're done. And when the smoke clear, come on back to Bible. That's right. And if it contradict the Bible, brother and sister, you're in trouble. That's why I tell the church, I tell the saints, mm -hmm. don't you get close to no minister. Amen. That's right. That's what we tell. We tell the saints this throughout America, Africa, Jamaica, Bahamas, Caribbean, everywhere. Don't get too close to no minister because if they start teaching a lie and you too close, right. you're going to ignore the lie and look at friendship and think it's the truth. That's right. That's why so many people are lost because their husbands is some phony preacher. Their daddy is some fake preacher. They slap happy grandpappy is some fake preacher, yep. and they're contradicting the Bible, and you're looking at your love for them more than you're looking at the truth of the Bible. I'm not. That's right. I'm looking at Bible. That's right. That's what makes me fierce in God's everlasting word. Amen. Many say he preach out of anger, he preach out of hate. You yeah, man, you can call him whatever you like. We preach with God given the Bible authority. That's right. To tell you what God says, and everybody in here got to drop the idea, their thought, oh, yes. what your mother told you, That's right. what your father told you, and fact drop what your pastor told you. That's right. Did you hear what I said? That's right. And everybody come back to the Bible, to the Bible, and whatever the Bible says, that's that. That's that. If you a preacher in here today, you better come back to the Bible. That's right. And whatever the Bible says, if it contradict you, your organization, your movement, you better drop it. Don't recycle it. No. Drop it. Amen. So this doctrine that's floating around mm. that uh, God took tarrying out of the church. Out of the church. Give me John 3, John 22. three and verse 22. Give me good. After these things came Jesus and After his disciples. After these things came Jesus and this his disciples. This is for you that didn't know Jesus baptized. Right. He baptized some folk. Yeah. Hey Amen. He didn't just let the apostles baptize. The apostles mm -hmm. baptized after that. That's right. Jesus died and rose and ascended above all heavens. Who you think baptized the apostles? Right. Jesus did. Jesus did. They couldn't go baptize nobody and they weren't baptized themselves. That's right. Listen at this. St. John chapter 3 and verse 22. Listen. After, After these, things, these things came Jesus, came Jesus and his disciples and his disciples into the land of Judea. Into the land of Judea. And there he tarried. There he tarried. He tarried. There he tarried. There he tarried. He tarried. And what else? There he tarried with them and baptized. <laughs> Amen. So anybody, hear me good, hear me good, hear me good. I want to hit you while I got you here. Anybody come along today and say Jesus hmm. took Terry hmm. out, of the church. out of the church. They lied on the Messiah. That's right. And they lied on the Bible. That's right. 
I debunk that teaching. Oh, yes. I debunk it. I debunk it viciously. St. Luke chapter 24, and we'll start at verse 47. Listen at the Bible. And that repentance and remission of sins. And that repentance and remission of sins. Should be preached. Should be preached. In his name. In his name. Among all nations. Among all nations. Beginning at Jerusalem. Beginning at Jerusalem. And ye are witnesses of these ye things. Ye are witnesses of these things. At Everything that it went on with Jesus, the apostles witnessed it. That's right. And what? And behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you. What did Jesus tell him to do? But tarry ye. Hallelujah. He told the apostles to tarry. That's right. And he wasn't just talking to them. That's right. Tarrying was not just for the apostles. No. If it was, Mary, the mother of Jesus, wouldn't have been in the upper room. That's right. His brethren wouldn't have been there. Acts chapter 1 and verse 4. Do you hear the Bible? You see, God made me a preacher. Yes, he did. I love to look at what they overlook. That's right. I said by the Bible, tarry simply means to wait. That's right. Everybody in here right now is waiting on God for something. That's right. Bible says, they that wait upon the Lord yes. shall renew their strength. their strength. That scripture haven't expired. <laughs> no. That scripture's not outdated. No way. Why did God say that? Because he know that waiting on him, he liked to try our patience. That's right. He liked to try our endurance. That's right. If you want healing, wait. Wait. Believe, obey, and wait. Wait. You want the Holy Ghost? Wait. Wait. He okay. had no time say he would give you these things quickly. No. But he give you these things according, according. to his own will. That's right. Now in the book of Acts Dude, chapter that 1. that says, Tarion is no more. No more. And you supposed to receive the Holy Ghost quick. Hmm. I challenge that teaching. I got the scripture right here, Pastor. I want to get where God gave the Holy Ghost according. All right, give me that. First and then we'll get Hebrews. That's right. I'm, fil I'm just filled up with Bible and I'm out the box. That's right. Or to God, I'm out the box with Bible. That's right. You see, there's so much fake teaching. More than one God, remarriage and divorce, live together, not married, three gods in heaven. Amen. God, uh, there's multiple gods multiple. and all of that foolishness. And nobody is standing up for nothing. No. And now, even sinners that used to fight me, that mm -hmm. are now uh, renowned sinners, known. Mm -hmm. Now they're starting to come out and thank God for me. Amen. Somebody sent me a text message, uh, a renowned comedian. Of all things, a comedian. Hmm. He was on a talk show talking about this, cracking jokes about that. They send me the clip. They want me to look at it. Mm -hmm. And then he asked the talk show host, have you heard of Pastor Gino Jennings? This wasn't even the subject. Religion wasn't a subject. He asked, he asked them, have you heard of Pastor Gino Jennings? He said, listen, if you ever want to know the Bible, <laughs> if you want to know the truth, that man will tell you the truth and don't care who you are. Amen. Amen. He looked in the camera and said, Pastor Jennings, I love you. I'm going to keep watching you. You know, this Amen. gospel will convert you. That's wonderful. You may be out there a while. We'll give you time. Oh, yes. Thank God. But when a plow of truth. Come, hallelujah. hallelujah. Come rolling down in your heart. Oh, yes. It'll break your heart. That's right. It'll make you submit to God and change in a way that you never thought you would change. That's right. Am I right, I said? Yes. Over to God. Hallelujah. What do you have, William? Acts chapter 1 and we're at verse 4. Listen at this. And being assembled together with them. Then assembled together with them. Commanded them. Commanded them. That they should not depart from Jerusalem. Now. They shouldn't leave Jerusalem. But wait. Wait. For the promise of the Father. Wait. wait. That's all Terry mean. Wait. That's it. For the promise of the Father, for the promise of God. Which saith he, ye have which heard saith of ye me. heard of me. Now in Acts chapter 1 and at verse 13. Says what? And when they went up into an upper now, room. Now, if it was just for the apostles, then nobody, yeah. absolutely nobody, right. would have been filled with the Holy Ghost but them. But them. And no one would have been tarrying but them. That's right. But that was not the case. No. 
Listen. Acts chapter 1 and we're at verse 13. What is it? And when they were coming, they went up into an they upper room. They went to an upper room. Where both, both Peter and James and John and Andrew, Philip and Thomas. Now, what is our Jerusalem? Hmm. I don't have to take a plane and go to Jerusalem now to seek the Lord. No. Because God is everywhere. That's right. But Jerusalem will represent sacred place. That's right. Give me Psalms 48 and 1 while you hold that. Mm -hmm. hey Amen. Let your fingers do the walking. <laughs> Amen. Jerusalem is called by the scriptures the city of God. Psalms 48 and at verse 1. Jerusalem is called the city of God because Jerusalem represents that which is sacred, clean, holy. Right. And Psalms 48, which started verse 1. That's what? Great is the Lord. Great. Glory be to God. Amen. Great is the Lord. And greatly to be praised. Greatly to be praised. In the city of our God. What? In the city, in of, the city of our God. Of our God. In the mountain of his holiness. In the mountain of his holiness. Beautiful for situation. <laughs> Beautiful situation. The joy of the whole earth. The joy Hallelujah. of the whole earth. The joy of the whole earth is Mount Zion. There's Mount Zion. On the sides of the north. On the sides of the north. The city of the great king. The city of the great king. Amen. So Jerusalem, they was told to go to Jerusalem. That's right. Where the church was start. Then returned they unto Jerusalem. Then they returned to Jerusalem from, from the, the Mount, Mount called Olivet, Olivet. Which is from Jerusalem, a, a Sabbath, Sabbath day's, day's journey. journey. And when they would come in, they went up into an upper room. Now look who was there. We abode both Peter, Apostle, and James, Apostle, and John, Apostle, and Andrew, Apostle, Philip, Apostle, and Thomas, Apostle, Bartholomew, Apostle, and Matthew, Apostle, James, the son of Alphaeus, Apostle, and Simon Salodius, yes, and Judas, the brother of James. Then what? These all continued with one accord in prayer. With who? And supplication with the women. What? With the women. Women was there? With the women. And women was there? With the women. So it wasn't just two of the apostles. Who was there? With the women. And who else? And Mary. Who was she? The mother of Jesus. What? And Mary, the mother of Jesus. Did Mary have any more children? And with his brethren. <laughs> Amen. With well, Jesus' brethren, That's right. which was Mary's son. These all continued. <laughs> Amen. These did what? These all continued with one accord in prayer. Do you hear that? Amen. Now, I want to, I just want to just touch that mm -hmm. because I'm not done. Right. Oh, no, I'm not done. I, I want to invite everybody, remember, next week, mm -hmm. starting on Thursday, is the youth conference in Philadelphia. Amen. I hope everybody that's here, including my guests, make your way to Philadelphia. You always get on the road, go somewhere. Some of you don't get on the road, go nowhere. <laughs> Amen. But you're welcome to be in Philadelphia. The youth conference will be Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Mm -hmm. All the churches that will be there. Right. All the ministers, it's important that you be there both days. Oh, yes. Amen. Because there will be a ministers meeting uh, Saturday at 10 o'clock. And God willing, perhaps it would be another one Sunday at 10 o'clock. We have so much work to do. Oh, yes. Amen. But we have business of importance. Oh, yes. As we travel around the world, laboring and working in the vineyard of God, Opening up temples Amen. by the number. And uh, while people think that this is a, a easy job, they fail to realize and don't understand what it consists of. That's right. There's a lot of wear and tear on the body. That's right. Amen. With us traveling and traveling and traveling and traveling and ain't sightseeing because it ain't nothing I want to see. <laughs> That's right. No, you Amen. don't sightseeing. When I go overseas, person. when I go to Europe, when I go to Africa, when I go to India, my brothers that travel with me, they'll tell you, do I go out sightseeing? Do I go out sightseeing? No, you don't, Pastor. Sometimes they argue with me. Once you get out the hotel, I say, <laughs> what is it to see? Devils and buildings. <laughs> Amen. I'm a, I'm a student of architect. I love architect. And if I'm not looking for a church, then uh, I'm not going to eat. Mm -hmm. And then if we're not going to church service, I don't want to come. There's nowhere to go. <laughs> nowhere to, for me to go. That's Amen. Good. All right, let's dive into the Bible. We having the same spirit of faith is what I want to work work on. Right. Everybody that are here and everybody that are watching and listening, we supposed to have the same belief. All of us. Are you listening, Virginia? Amen. Nobody here is allowed to have a different belief, and then think you have your belief and I have my belief. The scriptures no. is not even designed like that. No. 
You have your church, I have my church. You have your God, I have my God. No. Oh, no. One faith. One faith. Whatever church you go to, and you hear me blasting this over the air. Amen. What is your religion? Is that your religion? is my renowned question. Yes. Richmond. Richmond, you know some of y'all go to these old Baptist, Methodist, and Presbyterian, Lutheran churches. Some of you, some of you, when you was coming here, you were smoking. Hmm. You were smoking in your car. You put a tit tat in your life to get in your mouth to get a bang out of life. Amen. Some of you here got little bars in your house. Got your bottle of Jack Daniels and beer on in your refrigerator. Some of you here live together, not married. Yeah. Mm hmm. I'm not only going to step on your toes, I'm going to amputate your whole leg. Amen. Glory to God. Some of you believe you're a woman preacher. Yes. Or a woman evangelist. Mm -hmm. Some of you is a cigarette sucking deacon. Hmm. Some of you is a wine bibber, but you claim you're a pastor. Oh, yes. We're going to come on back to Bible tonight. And we're going to see what the Bible say about all of us Believing same the same thing. 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 We're going to debunk the theory yes. that you can believe anything you want yes. and be saved. That is a lie. That's, That's a lie. one of them Joel lie. Austin lies. That's right. Joel Austin said everybody's going to be in heaven. Everybody. <laughs> the homosexuals, the queers, the lesbians, everybody. the transgenders, the Christian, the Muslims. In other words, heaven is just going to be a, a, a big recycling place. Amen. He will, he will understand when he himself won't make it there. That's right. Follow me in the Bible now. Let's have it. Second Corinthians chapter 4 and we're at verse 13. All right, hear this. We having the same spirit of faith. Hold it. The word faith means belief. Belief. What is your faith? What's your faith? What do you believe? That's right. What is your faith? What do you believe? That's it. How have you been raised in faith? What have you been taught in your faith? Right. What have you learned from your faith? Is your faith in the scriptures? That's right. Who started your faith? Who's the founder of your belief? belief. Think of it. It's only three founders. That's right. God, the devil, the devil. Man. That's right. Two of these founders work together. <laughs> the devil. <laughs> the devil. And man. That's right. Those two fellas work together. Oh, yes. The one that contradicts everybody is God. God. Are you listening? That's right. Listen closely to the scriptures. 2 Corinthians 4 and verse 13. Listen at this. We having, we having the same spirit of faith. Now, we supposed to believe whatever Jesus believed, right. whatever he taught, and whatever he handed to his disciples, right. the apostles. That's right. Whatever his faith was. Whatever. Hear me, hear me, hear me good. Amen. Supposed to be our faith. Oh, yes. Whatever he professed, thank God that he professed a good profession. That's what we supposed to profess. profess. Whatever he allowed or did not allow, that's what we allow or don't allow. That's right. How much you read the Bible? How long you read the Bible? A lot of people brag. I read the Bible cover to cover. Who cares? Who cares? If you don't understand Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, you might as well just what good is reading. That's right. Because the Bible says in all thine getting, get a understanding. understanding. You can read all you want. If you don't understand, reading don't help you none. That's right. Listen. We having the same spirit. We of, have the same spirit. Of faith. Of faith. Of belief. According. Where? Where? Our faith, our belief must be what? According as it is written. According to what my mama told me. According as it is written. According to what I learned in seminary school. According as it is written. According to the study of theology. According as it is written. According to the study of history. According as it is written. According to the 
doctrinal statement of a church. According as it is written. What? I believe. Is your belief according to what's written? What's written? We have in the same spirit of, of faith according, according as it is written. If anybody come along and said that God took tarrying out the church, go to what's written. What's written? And see, can you find that scripture where he done that? That's right. That's right. See, can you find it? <laughs> That's right. If the scripture says you're bound by the law, uh -oh. yeah. Uh oh. Long as your first wife lives. Living. Hear me, Richmond. <laughs> That's right. Go to the scriptures. That's right. You supposed to believe that. That's right. That's right. If the scripture says that it's an abomination mm -hmm. for a man to sleep with man. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Oh, you can say amen better than that. <laughs> That's right. Your faith must be according to that. That's right. That's if right. the scripture says it's a shame yes. for a man to have long hair. Long hair. Oh, you man bun ponytail wearing men. Amen. Then your faith must be according to that. That's right. That's Do you right. hear what I'm talking? We have no, this. Never mind, Pastor Jennings. Ignore me. Yeah. You do it anywhere you try to. <laughs> One man wrote me and, and wrote me repenting. He said, when I first heard you, I called you everything under the sun I can think of. I <laughs> threw things at my television. I put my fingers up at you and you couldn't see me. Lord. I called you a son of a this, a mother of that, a son of the other. My Lord. He said, I apologize. He said, mm. I went down in water at one of your churches in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It's not my church. No. It is in men and women to fight what we preach. Right. Because they don't understand it. That's right. That's your flesh. That's you your want flesh. to fight what I'm preaching because you're not used to it. Right. You're used to going to church every Sunday and seeing some preacher come out with a robe that's bigger than his body. Jerry curling his hair, manicured nails and... And he get up there all proper and whatnot. Mm -hmm. We're going to read for you today from God, holy word. <laughs> if I use for a text, uh, if I use for a text, Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> something stupid and something crazy. That's right. <laughs> and you, you act like he said something so deep. Amen. You know you want another man, Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, you know that man, Winnie? Not that. Oh, no. School don't make preachers. No. A preacher must be made of God, sent by God. Oh, yes. Chosen by God. Then when that happened, he has stay within the confines of the word of God. That's right. God's word will be a light unto his path. That's right. Listen at this. We having the same spirit of faith. Now, look at what kind of spirit you have. Hmm. And see is your faith, <laughs> your belief, your convictions, scriptural. Right. Never mind Pastor Jennings. Well, Pastor Jennings, I see it this way. I see it. That's the problem. That's the problem. You think God care how you see something? Amen. I mean, think of it. The Lord has spoken. Right. And here we are, the creatures of the creator, going to tell him, this is how I see it. <laughs> Who in the world are you? Who are you? Who are you? I mean, think of it. Who are you? That's right. You're nothing but dust. The only thing that got you living is him. That's right. The only thing that got you breathing is him. <laughs> That's right. When we realize, when we realize and accept the fact that we are less than nothing less than in the eyes of God, oh, yes. and what God says goes. That's right. Man, we are drop our belief. Oh yes. We are dropped the way we feel. Oh, yes. We are dropped what we think. 
I suppose, I guess, and come on back to Bible. That's right. We having the same spirit of faith. Now you supposed to have the same God in you same. that was in Christ Jesus. That's right. That's right. And the spirit of God that was in the Son of God is the same spirit that's in the church. Oh yes. Now, if you got the same spirit same. that was in him, hmm. why is your belief contradicting his? His. That's right. Think of it. Was Jesus a Methodist? Or are you? Right. Was Jesus a Baptist? No. Why are you? Was Jesus a Pentecostal? Hmm. Why are you? Why are you? Was Jesus non-denominational? Hmm. What are you bragging about it for? What are you bragging? Did Jesus claim he was apostolic? No. Why do you? That's right. Come on back. That's right. Come on back. Did Jesus said he was a five percenter? <laughs> Amen. Why do you? Right. Did Jesus say he was a Muslim, Shiite, Sunni, or non-denominational? No way. Why do you? Why do you? Order in the court. Order. That's right. You're going to church and you're being loyal, dedicated, jumping, shouting, yeah. professing all type of things, oh, yes. never considering your belief. It has to be. I mean, all of it. That's right. Not some of it. All of it. All of it. Must be lined up yeah. within the scriptures. See yes. this? You, one thing about a strict driving instructor. When you go for your license, and you go driving through them cones. Mm -hmm. You hit some cones, some instructors say, that's all right, we'll <laughs> get by. But not here. Oh, no. You're not allowed to hit up against nothing but Bible. That's right. You're not allowed, you're not allowed to drive nowhere but in scriptures. That's it. You're not allowed to believe anything outside of scripture. That's right. The scriptures governs our life. In fact, the scriptures shows us whether we are saved mm. or not. That's right. See, if you're not saved according to the scriptures, according you may God. claim you're a Christian because you stop little odds and ends. <laughs> That's right. You don't go to club no more, but you still club in your house. Yeah. You don't go to the bar no more, but you still got liquor in your home. Right. You stop chasing women because you got married, but <laughs> the one you married is your third wife. My Lord. Or your second. So you stop chasing several, but you're still chasing one. That's right. Am I right? Amen. See is your faith your like his. That's it. See is your faith, your faith lined up with his. That's right. See, will your faith yes. cause you to make the first resurrection? That's right. Is your faith strong enough, true enough, solid enough, firm enough that when Jesus comes, you can go back with him in peace? Oh, yes. Or would Jesus say about what you believe? Depart from me. Depart from me. Ye workers of iniquity. That's right. What is your faith? What is your faith? What do you believe? That's it. Where you got it from? Mm -hmm. Who started it? Who started it? Who's the founder? Yeah. Who's the uh, originator? That's right. Don't tell me a famous person is in your faith. Who cares? Oh, yes. If it ain't Jesus, it isn't nobody more famous than him. That's right. You know, a lot of folk give me a long line of history. You know, this so-and-so was in my faith. This so-and-so was in my church. My church was started by Harriet Tugman. My <laughs> church was started by Noble Drew Ali. That's right. You know, the basement of my house is where the Underground Railroad. <laughs> Listen, That's I don't right. care if the living room of your home, the whole Washington, D.C. bus line ran through it. <laughs> Amen. Come on back to Bible. That's it. 
That's Come right. on back. Come on back. You don't need to brag about nothing if that thing is not in God's word. We having the same, we spirit, having the of same faith, spirit of faith according as it is written. According to as it is written. I believe. I believe what's written. And therefore, therefore have I spoken. That's what got my mouth running so much. That's right. That's right. I believe what's written. What's written. And we are working around the clock, yeah. encouraging everybody, everybody oh, yeah. to believe what's written what's written and understand what's written that's right see a lot of folks say they believe what's written but what they believe they don't understand they don't understand and therefore because they don't understand mm -hmm. uh, they try to practice it when you find preachers who don't understand you know what they often say or oh, it mean what it says right the scriptures don't need no explaining it explain itself your fool don't that's, tell me that that's a fool if the scriptures don't need no explaining, you will be in a mess. Yes, you would. Let me use for an example. Jesus taught us, if your hand offend you, I want to make an example. You better give me that in the book of Mark. Mark yeah. If thy hand offend you, cut it off. Cut it off. It's better to go into life main yeah. than to have two hands to go into hell. Enter the fire. I believe that's Mark 9, uh, begin at verse 44. Mark 9 and at verse 44. Be quick. Where their worm dies not in the fire is Go not above quenched. that. At verse 45. Yes. Pastor. And if thy foot offend thee. If your foot offend you. Cut it off. Begin at uh, verse 42. Verse 42, yes. And whosoever shall offend one of these little ones that believe in me. Yes. It is better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck. Uh -huh. And he were cast into the sea. Yes. And if thy hand offend thee. If your hand offend you. Cut it off. If I don't explain that, you know what you're going to do? Man, I want to be so saved. I know it's going to hurt, but. Ooh. That's oh, right. Lord, have mercy on me, Lord. Wait, 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 wait. That's right. Wait. Wait, I said. That's right. You got to get an understanding. An understanding. So when people tell you the Bible explains itself, there mm. are some things that are self-explanatory, but there are some things you need God to open up your understanding, your understanding. to, and you need a Bible interpreter. That's right. Listen at the Bible says there. And if thy hand offend thee, cut it off. Now, when the Bible said, if your hand offend you, cut it off, cut it off. that, you know, your hand is a precious member of your body. You can scratch your head, dig in your ear and all of that stuff, wipe the tears away from your eyes and dig in your nose if you want to once in a while. Yeah, man. That's you right. can pick up the Bible and see whether you're right or wrong with your hands. Amen. So the hands is a very important member of your body. Yeah. Now, if there's something in your life, something in your life that's just as valuable to you as your hand is, you have to cut a loose or cut off from that thing. If that thing will cause a confrontation between you and God. That's right. That's what that's talking about. And if thy hand offend thee, your hand offend you, cut it off. Cut it off. It is better for thee to enter into life main. It's better for you to be saved without that thing. Than having two hands. Than to have those things. To go into hell. And be lost. Into the fire that never shall be quenched. You hear that? That's right. That's what that means. It is better for you to be saved without those things. Without those. That to keep holding on to those things that are opposite of God and God. Go to hell because of your love for it. That's right. That's right. Sometimes the thing you got to cut it loose from is your religion. Yeah. Your religion that you've been dedicated to for 10 and 15, 30 years. Yeah. Well, Pastor Jenner, you think your church is the only church right. I don't have a church. I don't have a church. Jesus said upon this rock, I'll build my, my church. church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. That's There's right. only one church in the Bible. God right. have never started churches. No. He said, upon this rock, I'll build, I'll build my, my church. My church. My mine, church. Mine. So everybody here, if you go to a church, look at the sign. Hmm. And the moment you see elder so-and-so founder, bishop so-and-so founder, reverend so-and-so founder, you have just drove up to the devil's church. That's right. Because this church it is, and no man the founder of. No. It ain't no man can be the founder of something God started. That's right. Are you listening to what I'm saying? That's right. Have a good, Richmond. And if thy hand offend thee, cut it off. If your hand offend you, get rid of it. It is better for thee to it enter into life maimed. It is better for thee to enter into life 
man without it then having two and hands have two hands to go into hell go so i want this to be good for the jehovah witnesses that says there, there is, is no hell right and some folks say well uh hell is the grave no mm -hmm. that's the first hell that's right yeah that's the first hell the grave is the first hell yeah but the bible talk about a lower hell there ain't no fire in the grave no hey, man when you go down there and dig a pit and so you can place that body in there. Ain't no fire in there. No. But there's a hell lower than your grave. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, we'll start at verse 21. What it says. They have moved me to jealousy God with that said which is not God. They have moved me to jealousy to that which is not God. They have provoked me to anger with their vanity. I'd rather have you mad at me. It don't mean nothing. Oh, yes. But to have God angry, brother, mm. that's terrible. That's right. How many here wouldn't mind God being angry with them? Raise your hand and show me how foolish you show, are. Show how foolish you are. Oh, well, everybody's all right then. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. All right, get this now. They have provoked me to anger with their vanity. Yes. And I will move them to jealousy with those which are not a people. Yes. And I will provoke them to anger with a foolish nation. What? For a fire is kindled. God talking. God talking. A fire is a kindled. A fire is kindled in mine anger in my anger and shall burn and shall burn unto the lowest hell the lowest hell the lowest the lowest hell that's lower than your grave that's right you see jesus went to the grave into the grave that's what the scriptures meant when he said thou should not leave my, my soul, soul in, hell. in hell he wasn't gonna stay there no the third day he rose that's right but here's the hell that's eternal lower than the grave that's right what is that for fire is kindled in my fire anger is kindled in my anger and shall burn and unto shall the, burn lowest to hell, the lowest hell and shall consume, and shall consume, the, consume earth the earth with, with the increase, increase and, and set, set on, on fire, fire the foundations of the mountains that's why i'm here in yes. richmond Oh, yes. To try to keep you from burning or going, going. to that lowest, lowest hell. hell. That's right. Amen. And if, and if you don't go, not just you, Richmond, mm -hmm. everybody that are watching, oh, yeah. if you don't want to go to the lower hell, the lowest. you better cut off That's what right. you have. That's right. Get away from what you believe. That's right. And come on back to the Bible yes. and pick up exactly what the word of God say with a divine understanding. And if thy hand offend thee, All right, cut so it off. That, let's go back to where we were. Back in 2 Corinthians. Now. Back in 2 Corinthians 4 and verse 13. Parliament. We having the same spirit of faith. Now I believe what Jesus believed. <laughs> Amen. You meet most people that say they are Christian. Mm -hmm. Cigar in their mouth, smoke, taking cocaine. Yeah. Amen. Got their Jack and Daniels. Oh, yes. Live together, not married. Yeah. They both go to church together on Sunday. <laughs> yeah, man. His girlfriend go, not married, just living together, not married. Yeah. They get dressed, wash. Hey, Amen. Them that believe in it. They believe in it. And then go to some church. He played the an organ, and then the one he's shacking up with singing on the choir. That's right. After that, they leave, jump and shout, <laughs> go back home. That's right. Like God don't exist. That's true. Why has this been done so long in the earth? Mm. Because the preachers that are sent by the devil, the devil never put it in none of his preachers right. to speak out against no kind of wrong. That's right. The devil puts it in all his preachers to pacify all wrong. That's right. That's why the young men are out okay with their pants hanging down, mm -hmm. with their hair long like women. The men want to arch their eyebrows like women. That's the right. The men want to paint their fingernails like women. That this the is men want to paint mm -hmm. their lips and put rouge on their face like women. Like women. The men want to switch like women. That's the right. The men want to sit like women, talk like women, mm -hmm. act like women. And the preachers cater to it by showing you their, their fly a rainbow flag yes. on their church. Yes, they and will. say, we are lovers for Jesus. For Jesus. Yes, they will. They call me a gay basher. No, I'm a hell preacher. <laughs> that's it. That's it. You know, you got hell's. <laughs> right. You know, you got a gang called the Hell's Angels. That's right. Huh? That's right. I'm a hell preacher. <laughs> huh? I, I'm popping the willy on my scriptures. Popping the willy. That's right. Pastor. Yes, I am. That's right. I'm riding in town with scripture. That's right. And I don't care how long you've been in some church. Amen. You got to come God's way oh, yes. or you got to go to hell that's right huh? that's right jesus said if you come 
any other way. Any other way. Use a thief and a robber. And a robber. And a robber. You can join the religion that cater. Oh, you black, black power, black this, black this. A black man going to die just like the white one. That's right. White one going to die just like the yellow one. That's right. And the yellow one going to die like the brown and the red. Oh, yes. I don't care if you stripe it. <laughs> Amen. If your face is white, your left arm is black, yeah. your right arm is blue, and from waist down, you're brown. My Lord. If you don't obey what God said, oh, yeah. Mr. Multicolored Man, to That's hell you going. That's right. Am I right, Ben? That's right. Talk back to me. That's right. Amen. <laughs> the devil sent religion. Yeah. Get you focused on your color. Oh, yes. And if it gets you focused on that too much, you'll lose sight on what God made you for. That's right. God made you for his glory. For his glory. God made the white man, the black man, the brown man, the yellow man for his glory right. that he may get total satisfaction out of everybody. Everybody. That's right. The problem with us, we want to serve God our way. Our way. You better give me eyes there. Yeah. Quickly. Yeah. We want to serve God our way. That's right. And then we say, I'm a Christian. You ain't a Christian at all. At all. Unless you do it on Jesus' terms. Isaiah chapter 55 and at verse 7. Hear me good. Let's hear go me here, here, here. Amen. I said nobody. Preach it. In Richmond, Virginia, and the, you, can, you can attach the rest of the world to it That's right. is a Christian at all, at all unless you come the way of scripture That's right. because any other way is darkness right. and not light. not light listen at this now Isaiah chapter 55 and at verse 7 what is it? let the wicked forsake his way alright wicked folk Amen. I know I got plenty of wicked folk here plenty, plenty. Well, so when I preach against your wickedness I'm repeating my boss that's right what did Jesus advise? Let the wicked forsake his way. Anybody here that have wicked ways, raise your hand. I mean everybody. And what did God advise us to do? Let the wicked forsake his way. What if I smoke? Forsake his way. Let the wicked do what? Let the wicked forsake his way. What if I drink? Let the wicked forsake his way. What if I got a second wife? Let the wicked forsake his way. Second husband. Let the wicked forsake his way. Married again, but my first husband is still alive. Let the wicked forsake his way. Married again, but my first wife is still alive. Let the wicked forsake his way. A man that wants to be a woman. Let the wicked forsake his way. Woman that want to be a man. Let the wicked forsake his way. Women that look like Jezebel. Let the wicked forsake his way. Lipstick. Let the wicked forsake his way. Fake fingernails. Let the wicked forsake his way. Toenail polish. Let the wicked forsake his way. Wigs on his and her head. Let the wicked forsake his way. Ankle chains. Let the wicked forsake his way. Bracelets. Let the wicked forsake his way. Finger rings. Let the wicked forsake his way. Mini skirts. Let the wicked forsake his way. Skin tight pants. Let the wicked forsake his way. Men with long hair. Let the wicked forsake his way. Men that wear his pants hanging down. Let the wicked forsake his way. Men that want to be street whores. Let the wicked forsake his way. Women that want to be socks that hoe over there. Let the wicked that forsake his way. Am I right? Amen. <laughs> you hear it? Amen. You hear what I'm telling you? Amen. This is the Bible talking. Let the wicked forsake his way. Forsake. Anything that God speak against, forsake. you can't blame me for. That's right. No, you can't. No, you can't. You can't do those things at Pastor Jennings Church. Listen, I'm I'm a man just like you. That's right. I want to see things just like you. That's right. I would like to go places just like you. Oh, yes. Sure. Hey, man, I'm oh, pretty yes. sure I could find somewhere in Richmond that got a club somewhere. Amen. Richmond, not that far behind you, not that slow. Right. I'm pretty sure that I can go to hell from Richmond. <laughs> Amen. I can find a club where they jumping and stomping and bumping and grinding on each other. Yeah. 
lights just flashing and blinking. Oh, yes. Someone scratching the record. I'm pretty sure I can find that. That's right. Sometimes I think I wonder what would happen. As known as we are, I walk inside of a club. Boom. And everybody recognizes. Mm. <laughs> and just stop. Just stop. Glory to God. Amen. <laughs> They know I don't belong in that. Right. Now, if they know I don't belong in there, right. why do you think that the sinner don't respect the so-called Christian? You're hanging out the same places where they are. That's right. The preachers are out there with them. That's right. The church members are out there with They're them. Out there with You're them. doing the same thing. That's right. That's why they don't respect you. Oh, yes. Oh, repeat to God of Abraham. Let the wicked forsake his way. This is God's advice. Amen. Let the wicked Let forsake the wicked. his way. And believe me, you're not going to forsake your ways overnight. No. But you got to start sometime. That's right. Is it hard? Man, yeah, it's hard. Oh, yes. It's hard to give up what you love. Oh, yes. That man addicted to them cigarettes, he want to be saved, it's hard. It's hard. But he going to try anyway. That's right. And he going to seek God for help. That's right. That's right. That man and woman want to lay down the liquor bottle is hard. It's hard. But when they want to be right, seeking they gonna, the Lord. They're going to seek God and ask God, get the taste Hallelujah. out of my mouth. Get it out of my soul. That's right. That's right. That's right. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah. Isaiah 55 and at verse 6. Do I seek ye the Lord? Seek ye the Lord. While he may be found. Call it. Do what else we got to do? Call upon him. Call on him while he is near. Why Holy he's near. Holy. Now, Hallelujah. it's impossible to seek the Lord and not tarry. There you go. Impossible. That's right. If I'm seeking for my keys, I'm waiting to find them. That's right. If I'm seeking to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm waiting for someone to take me down in the water. That's right. It's impossible to seek the Sick Lord, Lord for the Holy Ghost yeah. and not tarry. It's impossible. That's right. I'm waiting for God to fulfill his word in my life. That's right. That's right. So God declares. Seek ye the Lord. Seek ye the Lord. Well, he may be found. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Everybody that's here, none of you know where death is. No. None of you. No, no. I don't care how much money you got and what you own. Yeah. Name one thing you have that you can take with you. That's right. Nothing. Nothing. You can't take nothing. Nothing. All your money can do is sit in the bank somewhere with some CDs or a credit union and draw interest. And why draw interest? You die. That's right. And your money keep drawing interest. That's right. Either the government will get it, or depending upon how you have things organized, your family or somebody will get it, yeah. and all you get is a pine box. That's it. And the next time your eyes come open, think of it. You will stand before the judgment seat of God, yeah. or you will be burning in your everlasting hell. That's right. Word of God speaks plain. Seek ye the Lord. Naked. You came Naked. in the world. That's right. Naked, you shall return. That's right. Who in here owns anything when you was born? Yeah. Nobody. Nobody. Who in here will take anything with them when you leave? Nobody. For we brought nothing into this world. The Bible says what? In 1 Timothy chapter 6 and at verse 7. We brought nothing into this world. You brought nothing here. And it is certain. It is certain. We can carry nothing out. You can't out. take nothing out. That's right. Nothing. Certain. Certain. You can hold on to it tight as you want. Oh, yes. Until they have your fingerprint. Oh, yes. But when you die, you know, sometime when a person die, hey, man, they uh, take certain things, trinkets, throw it in a casket. That's right. Some of these full street young men, hey, amen, right. throw bags of cocaine and as if the, uh, as if they buddy Bill going to be snorking. <laughs> amen. In the ground. Amen. Bill snorking days is over. Yeah. That pot smoking, your beer guzzling, your party and your dancing, all that is over. That's right. The thing you better do is wake up while you're young, while there you, you go. got the breath in your body right. and make it up in your mind to walk. It's amazing how the devil convinced you you're too young to serve God. But yeah. he never convinced you that you're too young to be out there in the street. That's right. That's right. Do you see how it works? That's right. When it comes... 
They're doing wrong, robbing. You say, yeah. Oh, yeah. Stealing? Yeah. Yeah. Carjacking? Yeah. Fornication? Yeah. Oh, yes. Free sex? Yeah. Oh, Go yes. to party? Yeah. Smoke some weed? Yeah. 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 God? I, I ain't down with that. Man. That's right. God? Man, I'm just too young. I ain't ready for that. I'll I, I, I catch that later. Catch that later. God? Oh, man. No, I, you know, I know it's right, but. But. That's right. That's right. Then when you end up behind bars, you want to come religious. Yeah. So you become or pretend to become a Muslim. Right. Just to protect your back pocket. That's right. You want to get among some men that are believers. That's right. So you don't get raped. Yeah. So you'll come on and put a kufi on and act like your parent. <laughs> That's right. To make sure nobody sneak up behind you. Amen. And then when you get out of jail, yeah. oh, you're yes. right back at it. Right back at it. What it going to take for you? That's right. Brother and sister. To really change. Really change. You in the earth seeking the wrong thing. Yes. If God bless you with money, fine. But don't strive to focus on money and wealth and materialism. And then you say God is later. No, God is now. Right now. Everything else is later. That's right. That's right. What of God says in the book of Corinthians? Second Corinthians chapter six and verse two. Second Corinthians chapter six and verse two. For He saith, "I have heard thee in a he time saith, accepted." I heard thee in a time accepted. In the time accepted. And in the day of salvation. In the day of salvation. Have I and the day thee? of deliverance. I secured you. Behold, now what now? Glory be to yeah. God. Hallelujah. Right now is the accepted time. Is the accepted the time behold now now is the day, is of, salvation. The day of salvation yeah. richmond yeah. richmond yeah. richmond salvation comes to yeah. you now now right now that's right that's right and if salvation come to you now now it'll be wise for you yeah. to come to it now now that's right that's right i don't Hallelujah. blame the people People don't know. Right. People are misled. That's right. Lied to. The preachers deceive you and trick you and hide behind the name of Jesus as a front. That's right. There's a lot of good people in the world that's trying to do the best they can. Oh, yes. But the, your best is not good enough in the eyes of God. That's right. That's why God never left himself without a witness. Without a witness. Meaning he never left himself without a preacher. That's right. God will raise up a preacher to warn creation. Oh, yes. Amen. And one thing about it, it's not hard to recognize God preacher because he's different from everybody. That's right. Like, Hallelujah. Huh? That's right. You hear a sound out of him, out of him. that you cannot Hallelujah. hear out of nobody. That's right. Yeah? That's right. What is that? Seek ye the Lord. Seek ye the Lord. While he may be found. Seek. I want to advise the world. Amen. Seek ye the Lord. While he may be found. You can find him now. Oh, yes. The way you seek the Lord is to seek God's word. That's it. Amen. That's and right. God talked to us through preaching. Through the word. God manifests his, his word, word through preaching. Through preaching. Through preaching. I say God manifests his word That's right. or make his word known through preaching. But hath in due time. Hear this. Titus chapter 1 and we're at verse 3. Titus chapter 1 and third verse. But hath in due time. Hath in due time. Manifested his word. Manifests his word. Through preaching. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. It Hallelujah. ain't no man in the world preaching. Unless you preach God's word. That's right. That's right. The word of God. Listen, when you stay with the word of God, you're going to eliminate homiletics, theology, yes, philosophy, will. and all that. You ain't think about none of that no, stuff. No, no, You're going to come on back to the word. That's it. Theology seminars and all of that. <laughs> no. No, no you're going to come on back to the word. That's it. I had many men write me and ask me, uh, do I have training classes? that'll train you to understand the Bible. 
The moment you hear the word of God teach, we are training you to understand the Bible. That's right. By teaching you the Bible. And that's why you hear me telling you over the air, moreover, Over. follow me in the Bible. That's right. Brother, if you follow me in the Bible, you will understand it better than you ever did. That's true. Huh? That's true. That's why I know there are some things in the Bible some of us wish we didn't know. Oh, yes. Because now. <laughs> oh, yes. Amen. Oh, yeah. If you, tell, if you tell the truth, you got to say amen. That's right. Amen. amen. There's some things in the Bible I wish I didn't know. Oh, yes. My God, man, is like looking down an everlasting gun barrel. <laughs> amen. And the gun stay cocked. Yes, it does. Thank God. But the more you understand, the more you got to give an account to God for. That's right. And God just tells me, preach the word. Preach the I have word. to do that. Yeah. Amen. I just can't overlook things. I have to preach what's written. That's it. Even if it hits me, and it does. And it does. But because it is written. Preach the word. Hey, did you hear this? In 2 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 2. This is instructions. This is a command. Now we're at verse 1. What is it? I charge verse thee. Again. 2 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 1. You know, there's many men that came in the first church who were mm. supposed to have been preachers. Yes. Didn't want me to preach the word. That's right. Sat and talked to me one on one, trying to get me to change. That's right. From the word. That's right. One man thought he could flatter me up. He was about 70 something years old. Hmm. He wanted to talk to me. I sat down. I said, All right, Bishop, what's going on? He hmm. said, uh, Don't you know you're a king? My I Lord. looked around. I said, I'm a what? He said, You're a king. Now I noticed I didn't have no crown. <laughs> That's right. You, you, you're a king, man. You're royalty. You're the big man. My Lord. I say, listen, I'm nothing but a servant. That's right. Who works for a king. That's right. All that flattery stuff don't move me. No. He wanted to bring in some false teaching. I said, not here. No. And they're not here. No, 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 no. Oh. We, we, don't, we don't believe that trash yet. That's right. I sweep that kind of stuff up in a pile and then set it on Bible fire. <laughs> That's right. Burn it up. Burn you know, up. folks in the country, they, they sleep, they sweep up them leaves, all that trash, and then set it on fire. Right. Burn it up. Burn it up. I mean, that's what I do with false teaching. That's right. Sweep that stuff up, set it on fire, light it with Bible, and burn it up. Burn it up. And I want to encourage everybody, mm -hmm. come out of all of these man-made religions. That's right. Which one, Pastor Jennings? Everything that's not holy. You can't find nothing in the Bible, but God oh, tells the world. That's right. The whole earth. That's right. Be holy. And the Lord spake unto Moses. Listen saying, at the Bible. In Leviticus chapter 19 and at verse 1. Listen at this. And the Lord spake unto this Moses. This is the saying, book of Leviticus. Leviticus chapter 19. Chapter 19. And we're at the first verse. And the first verse. And the Lord spake unto Moses. Saying, Many folk right be cussing and mad and post things on internet and social media. That man talk about being holy. There's other religions out here. I agree. <laughs> there are other religions out there and all of them wrong. All of them wrong. There ain't none of them no good if it's not holy. That's right. Because now I'm going to ask you, whatever you are, hmm. if you claim you're a child of God, whatever you are, whatever you are. then see is the Lord that. That's right. My God, man, you can't have a no better recommendation. That's right. Whatever you claim to be, see as God that. Yeah. Whatever religion you want to be, see as God that. That's right. Whatever religion your mother, your father, your grandparents was, see as God that. That's right. Whatever religion you're studying, well, Pastor Jennings, Christianity is not in the Bible. Is it your religion? Christianity? No. Oh, no. You that thought it was, you ain't been listening to me long. Amen. Christianity ain't never been in the Bible. No. Christian is in the Bible. That's in the Bible. Christian is a person. That's right. There was first called Christians in the city called Antioch. Antioch. But Christianity is a religion. Right. And the, Jesus never came here and started a religion and called it Christianity. No. Never. Never. The Bible telling me that God rest on the seventh on the seventh day yeah the seventh day seventh when man read that scripture bing, the devil said be a seven day of venice seven day of venice john was in the wilderness yeah john the baptist here comes jesus 
baptize me. Yeah. John said, I need to be baptized of thee. Indeed. Come thou to me. Devil got in some man. John the Baptist. John the Baptist. Baptist. <laughs> the free will Baptist church. <laughs> That's right. That's right. It costs you free to do what you will. That's right. John's religion wasn't Baptist. No. The word John the Baptist, his title Baptist, means his occupation. occupation. He was a baptizer. A baptizer. One that baptized men. That's right. Unto repentance. That's right. Yeah, my God. Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 1. And Catholic the Church. Mm -hmm. Never been in the Bible. Never. Pope? There's not a Pope in the Bible. Nowhere. <laughs> Nowhere. The Catholics Nowhere. claim that Peter was the first Pope. If he was, then all the Popes would, have, would not forbid the priest to marry. To get married. Because Peter was a married man. That's right. The Bible said Jesus held Peter's mother-in-law. Mother Why, you don't get a mother-in-law for crop and tobacco. No. Get a mother-in-law because you married some woman's daughter. That's right. Yeah, me good. Leviticus, Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 1. I want to show you why you got to be holy. Amen. Listen. And the Lord spake unto Moses. And the Lord. The Lord. The, the Lord Bible says, know ye the Lord that he is God. He is God. Uh-huh. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying. The Lord spake to Moses, saying. Speak unto all the congregation of the children of Israel. all the congregation. Of the children of Israel. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm telling everybody. That's right. What did God tell us to tell them? And say unto them. Ye shall be holy, for I, the Lord your God, am holy. What is God? For I, the Lord your God, am holy. And what did he tell us to be? Ye shall be holy. What is God? For I, the Lord your God, am holy. And what did he tell us to be? Ye shall be holy. For I, the Lord All your God. All he talk about is everybody's religion. I'm coming back to Bible. That's right. You mean to tell me who? That who is a wise shopper will go to a place and buy a washer and a dryer and uh, not read the fine print. The fine print. You want to make sure that you're not getting a lemon. That's right. Anybody can sell you anything. Oh, yes. Thank God. I'm giving you God's word and going over it line per line, <laughs> precept are. upon precept, here a little and there a, there a little. And I'm encouraging you to read along with me. That's right. And then check up on what you have and see it's the same thing. That's right. I don't mean because you go to some church called Holy Wayfair House. <laughs> Being holy is more than having holy written on your building. Oh, yes. Holiness is not just a belief. That belief will change your entire lifestyle. That's right. Gradually, you will evolve around the scriptures. That's right. That's right. God, you'll find yourself hating the life you used to live. Oh, yes. Yes, you will. Oh, yes. You'll find yourself making changes you never thought of change. Amen. Not going to places that you normally would go. Right. Amen. Your buddies that call you up Friday night, yo, Hank. <laughs> hey, Hank, you going to the club 36 night? No, no, man, no. What? That's your hangout spot, Hank? Yeah. You want to go? No, Fred. No, you know, I'm. No, man, I want to give my life to God. What? <laughs> That's right. You want to give your life to God, dog? What's the matter with you, man? That's right. You want to get religious on me? Hey, and this is what your friend will tell you. I believe in God, too, but hey, I want to get my praise on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hank got to stick to his guns. Hey, look, mm -hmm. man. Serving God is real business. Oh, yes. God is nobody to play with, man. Amen. Amen. Devil going to test Hank. Devil going to test Susie. That's right. He going to test you. He going to bring everything at your doorstep. That's right. You see, do you re really mean business? Oh, yes. Because when you got a mind to serve God, somebody you know, hmm. feelings is going to get hurt. Oh, yes. Because one thing I learned about the scriptures, it's going to break up your house. Yeah. It will interfere with friendships. Oh, yeah. It will interfere with relationships. That's right. And it will interfere with what you believe. That's right. Word of God will do all of that. All of that. 
Hear me good. Speak unto all the congregation of the children of Israel. What should everybody in Richmond, Virginia be? And say unto them, ye shall be holy. That's what I'm telling. That's right. God wants you to be holy. God wants you to repent of your sins. Repent. Repent of them. Oh, yes. Everybody got something to repent for. That's right. What is repentance? You're sorry for what you've done. That's right. I know some of you here go to clubs and party and drink and cigarettes. And some of you women got lottery tickets in your pocketbook. Sure you do. Oh, yes. Yeah, man. Some of you brothers got lottery tickets in your car, in your glove compartment. You left your uh, 22 or your 45 or your 38 in your glove compartment or your armrest out of respect, not bringing it in here. Amen. Hey, man, but some of you men got cigarettes still in your back pocket or in your shirt pocket. Some of you smoke when you was coming up and put a lot of gum in your mouth, so hope, hopefully that nobody don't smell it. You know you are. That's right. You were just at the club last night and was looking for to be here today. Or you, or you figured you would take a week off, so you you missed a week of clubbing yeah. to give yourself a righteously prepared. That's right. Glory That's right. be to God. That's right. Huh? Amen. Amen. You and your girlfriend came, and your girlfriend said, you going to take me to see that crazy man you always got me listening to? I don't want to listen to him. All he going to do is tell us we can't live together, not married. Yeah. Baby, I love you. Nobody want to hear that? That's right. You and your love will carry you to hell. Yes, it will. That's right. Oh, Pastor Jennings, what love is greater than mine? God's. God. God love. That's it. God love will outlive yours. That's right. Don't you know the love of God outlives everybody? Oh, yes. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? Amen. Go back to the book of Corinthians. Back in 2 Corinthians 4 and verse 13. What is it? We having the same spirit same of faith. Same spirit. Same spirit. Same spirit. That's right. You repent of your sins. Yeah. All of you need to repent. All of you. Not bow your head and raise your hands. You ain't saved. That's right. Your arms are just tired. That's right. Bow your head and raise your hands. Talking about you accept Christ. Man, you accept a lie. Amen. The Bible ain't never tell you to do that. No. Touch some screen and repeat Send us bread. Leave the television alone if you ain't changing no channel or turning it off. Get your hands off that television. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> hey man, go on there, touching some scream. You was looking at some liar talking about touching agree. Agree on what? On what? Going to hell? <laughs> Amen. By the way, no, you never told nobody. No. Touch some preaching, touching again. No. Preacher got you doing arts and crafts. Them television crook talking about take some paper and trace your hand, trace your, trace your hand, and then put the, pit, put the paper right there. Yeah. You put your hand on the paper and I put it on mine. We're going to touch and agree. Touch and Look agree. at what he done to you. <laughs> this old television hypocrite took you back to grade school and got you doing kindergarten coloring and cutting. That's right. It don't, that ain't got nothing to do with salvation. No. No, no. Bible ain't tell you accept Christ as your personal savior. No. Nope. Pray a sinner's prayer. No. Hold some preacher's hand and repeat a sinner's prayer. Repeat a sinner's prayer. Bible never told you be baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. No. So I'll say you're wrong there. Give me Matthew 20, Matthew 19. 20 19. Let's explain it over and over. Matthew 28 and verse 19. I don't care if I come here a thousand times. I got to explain it every time I come. That's right. Because somebody haven't obeyed it. Yeah. And somebody think they got something. Right. And I want to show you, you don't have nothing. That's right. Listen at this. Matthew 28 and verse 19. Parliament. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. What? Go ye therefore and teach all nations. That's what we're doing, teaching you. Amen. Somebody wrote in and said, everywhere you go, you preach the same thing. Right. That's right. That's right. Bible said, moreover, brethren. That's right. I'm going to keep preaching it longer than breath in my body. That's right. Until everybody obeyed. <laughs> Amen. Listen closely. I want to give you an understanding closely at what Jesus said. Matthew 28 and verse 19. What is it? Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Everybody. Baptizing them in the name in of the, the Father. In the name. In a m 
E. In the name. Not M A M E S. That's right. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. Of the Son. And of the Holy Ghost. This is the way the lying preachers have added. Yeah. They said, Jesus said, baptize in the name of the Father, name of the Son, name of the Holy Ghost. Jesus, they never made no such statement. No. He mentioned name one time, singular. Singular. Not plural. That's right. Now, I'm a father. Mm hmm. But I got a name. That's right. I'm a son. Yeah. But I have a name. I'm a husband. But I have a name. That's right. I'm a preacher. Yeah. But I have a name. That's I'm right. a boxer. I have a name. I'm a wrestler. Amen. But I have a name. Yeah. And if I tell you do something in my name, you're not going to call none of my titles. No. You can't do it in my name unless you learn my name. That's right. Jesus said. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Teach them. Teach them. Teach them. Teach them. That's right. And do what? Baptizing them. Baptizing them. In the name. Do it in the name. Of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Holy Ghost. You can't do it in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Until you find out what is that one name, the one name? of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. That's right. And then when you find out the one name yeah. of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, then that name must be called oh. in baptism. That's right. Like you call my name the one name That's right. because I'm a son, husband, and father. That's right. Now let's find out what's the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. What's the name of it? Acts chapter 2 and read verse 38. One scripture says, go do it. Go do it. Matthew 20 and 19 says, go do it. Go. Now we're going to where it was done. Acts, chapter two, Acts chapter 2 and verse 38. That's what? Then Peter said unto them, repent. No, join the church. Repent. This is the time for the hour of power. Repent. Send us prayer. Repent. Anybody want a church home? Stand up and I give you a home. Repent. Hold a preacher's hand. Repeat a sinner's prayer. Repent. Confess with your mouth and believe in your heart and you are saved. Repent. Touch the television and ask God will somewhere just get down to your heart. Repent. All of that stuff you done and claim you're a Christian. That's right. You ain't never got started. No. Someone said, I know I'm a Christian. If you haven't obeyed what he written, what's written here, what's written? what he's reading, you ain't never got started. No. You can huff and puff and get mad and stomp out of here. But while you're getting out, you haven't got started. While you're starting up your car to drive away, you haven't got started. When you get home, you still haven't got started. <laughs> when you right. get under your covers, you haven't got started while you're under there. That's right. And if you wake up tomorrow, you haven't got started the next day. That's right. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Oh, you're going to come back to the Bible. Oh, yes. Who, Pastor Jenny? You. You. And your mama. <laughs> That's right. Your husband. That's right. Your daddy. Your second wife, your third husband. Go ahead. Jesus said through Peter. Then Peter said unto them, repent. That's what you got to do. Oh, yes. God wants you to repent. Repent. Be sorry. Yeah. Be convicted in your heart. That's right. For being so wicked. You remember the scripture, break up your wicked ways, turn from your wicked, turn ways. From your wicked ways. Amen. Amen. Repent and be baptized. How much? Every one of you. How? In the name of Jesus Christ. Do you hear that, Richmond? That's it. This is the one baptism. That's right. This is the baptism that the whole world got to obey. That's right. Not just Richmond. No. I said the whole world. And be baptized every Everyone. one of you. Everyone. 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 Mother, your sister, your brother, your husband, your children, your father-in-law, your brother-in-law, your mother-in-law, sister-in-law, your cousins, your aunt, That's your right. nieces, your nephews, your grandpappies, your great-grandpappy, your slap-happy grand, everybody. Repent and be baptized, every one of you. Repent. That's it. If you are a preacher today, you haven't obeyed this. You're not a preacher. Amen. In fact, you're not even saved. That's right. You are nothing but a road wearing Bible carrying Cadillac driving Santa. <laughs> That's right. You talking to me? Yes. Oh, yes. You haven't obeyed this. You ain't nothing but a sinner. That's a sinner. Not just you, everything in the house. That's right. You bow your head. You're just a sinner. Just a sinner. 
You held some preacher's hand and prayed some sinner's prayer. You're holding the hands of a sinner. <laughs> That's right. You went to a Catholic church and he sprinkled you with water, threw water on you. You should have threw it back at him. That's right. He's a sinner. That's a sinner. Jesus made a pain. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Repent. And be baptized every one of you. Everybody. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission of sins. Don't you hear Jesus said that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name? That's right. Among all nations. Beginning at Jerusalem. At Jerusalem. Repent and be baptized, every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission of sins. For the remission of sins, meaning for the removal of your sins. You want to get your sins washed away. Washed away. And what? And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Now you can receive the Holy Ghost before you're baptized. Oh, yes. You will find that in the 10th chapter, chapter of Acts. Chapter of Acts. That one said they wasn't tarrying there. Oh, yes, they was. Yes, they were. From the time that Cornelius was praying. was praying and the angel told him send men to Joppa and call for one Simon whose surname is Peter, Peter. who lodged with one Simon the Tanner mm -hmm. whose house is by the seaside when he comes he will tell thee what thou oughtest to, do. to do from that time all we don't know how long the journey was no no we don't we don't know whether it was days that's right or whether it was weeks or whether it was months. We That's don't know. Right. That's right. Because you don't know how long their journey was. Yeah. But regardless how long it was, Cornelius and his household waited. They waited. From the time the angel told him to get Peter. Right. To the time that Peter stood there. Right. Thank God and began to preach the word of word God. Of and while he yet spake the word of God, the Holy Ghost fell, fell on all, all of them. Which heard the word. This is the 10th chapter of Acts and begin that verse 44. So don't tell me tarrying is not in there. That's right. And nobody done it. That's they right. tarry mean to wait. And Cornelius and his house of Gentiles was waiting. They were waiting. On Peter. That's right. You see, they can't see that. No. That's why you need an apostle to see what you can't see. That's right. You need someone that God sent to tell you the things of God. That's right. Do you hear this? Acts chapter 10 and verse 44. Oh, Peter. Yet spake these words. And you had men, people, Hallelujah. men and women. That's right. Receive the Holy Ghost before they was baptized. Oh, yes. Because they believed what they was waiting on. That's right. And well, Peter yet spake these words. While Peter began to tell him about the word of God. The, the Holy, Holy Ghost, Ghost fell on all, fell on all which of them. heard the word. That heard God's word. And they of the circumcision they which believed were, were astonished. Believed were astonished as many, even as them that came with Peter. Because that because on the Gentiles, that on the Gentiles, also, Gentiles also was poured out the gift of the Holy Ghost. For they heard them speak with tongues. Oh, you don't have the Holy Ghost unless you speak in tongues. That's right. Ain't nobody can try to hurry you up to receive no Holy Ghost. No. They have to be they have to come according to God's will. God's Whenever will. God's will is, then it come. That's right. And anybody say otherwise, they're a liar. That's right. Hear this. For they heard them speak with tongues. They heard them speak in tongues. And, and magnified, magnified God. God. Then answered Peter. Then answered Peter. Can any man forbid water? And look at here. Amen. Because Peter knew the lessons of Jesus. That's right. Except that man is born of the water. And spirit. and spirit. He cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That's right. When you're born of the water, you're baptized in the water in the name of Jesus Christ. When you're born of the spirit, you're filled with the spirit, speaking another tongue as the spirit of God give utterance, or that means as the God of heaven speak through you. That's right. That's what that is. That's it. Uh -huh. Can any man forbid water? That hey, you, you that are here. Yes. Can you forbid water Can that you should not be baptized? Which have received the Holy Ghost as well as we. Which have received the Holy Ghost like we did. And he commanded them. No, baptism is a request. He commanded them. No, you don't have to be baptized. And he commanded them. Oh, no, you can, you, you, you can be saved without baptism. And he commanded them. Did you hear the Bible talking. And he commanded them. Baptism is a commandment. To be baptized in the name of the Lord. Do you hear that? That's right. All right, Richmond. That's right. You heard it tonight. You heard it. Is there anybody here that want to obey what the word of God says and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ? Stand on your feet if you want it tonight. Oh, Richard, God. <laughs> all of you that are standing. All of you that are standing. All of you that are standing. Amen. 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 Who got to do it, son? Every one of you. 
Every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every one of you. Do Every you see one that? of you. Do you see? Glory to God. Wonderful. Every one of you. Every got to do one it. of you. Yes, God Almighty sent me to do this everywhere in the world. Amen. And you get these men whom God ain't sent to do nothing. Yeah. Say, Pastor Jennings don't know what he's doing. Can you imagine such imagine arrogance? That. Such hellionism. That's right. God has blessed us to baptize more people in one day than most men were been baptized all the years that they've been in the pulpit preaching. That's true. You might as well come and obey. Oh, yes. Brother James, get ready. And uh, we got some brothers here from Baltimore. Any more of my brothers here that are baptized? All right, brothers, you also help Brother James because we got a large crowd. Amen. Make Amen. sure, James, that they baptize correctly. Amen. How many poles we got back there? How many baptismal poles we got back there? Well, all right, two of them, because now when I travel, I got to have two and three of them. Yeah. Sometimes four, because hundreds are going down the water. Oh, yes. Amen. We got to take them down as much as we can. Amen. Amen. What the Bible says here? Then Peter said unto them, repent. Amen. Who in the world would say this is wrong? Who would say? Yes, brother. All right, we'll pray for him before we leave. Amen. Who in the world will say this is not the truth? Amen. Everybody, hear me good, must prepare themselves to obey what Jesus said. That's right. Don't look at Pastor Jennings, you that are watching, don't blame it on me. No. I did not write the Bible. No. No, no. You that is hearing this teaching of tarrying. Yes. That you're supposed to receive it fast. Hmm. There isn't a chapter or verse in the Bible that ever said such. No. Tarrying God done away with is a lie told on the Bible. That's right. Anyone that preach it is a liar. You that believe it, believe a lie. That's right. And you will go to hell. That's right. Hear me loudly and boldly. That's right. Tell me, was Jesus wrong? Tarrying hmm. simply means to Wait. To wait. And if we're, look, I'm tarrying for the coming of the Lord. Right. That's right. That one said, quote the scripture, he gave the Holy Ghost to those that obey him. That's yeah, true. That's true. But the yeah. Bible never said when. No. No. Wait. Wait for the promise of the Father. The Bible said, wait for the promise of the Father. Which saith he? Which saith he? Ye have heard of me. Wait. Wait for he the He let you know he's the promise. That's right. He's the father. He said, which saith, you have heard, heard of, of me. me. Wait for it. Wait. Go ahead, man. That's for everybody. That's right. Not just for the apostles. No. The Bible never said it was just for the apostles. These Lord. all continue. It's, someone said, Pastor Dennis, where is it? Where it says it's for everybody. Jesus said, what I say to one. I say to all. I say to all. To all. That's right. Stop playing with the Bible. Yes. Oh. You that are watching and listening, spread the word. <laughs> That's right. Stop playing with the Bible. That's right. You that are told you got to receive the Holy Ghost quick, that's a quick lie. That's a lie. And Wait. I'm challenging it. I am. Wait for the promise of the Father. God took Terry out the church. He did. My Lord. Show me the scripture that says he did. That's right. I smash it back to hell. That's right. And everyone that preach it and those that believe it. That's right. Go ahead, man. Men that come up, the devil would use anybody. Yes, he will. The devil know this is a good work. Yes, it is. And the devil use anybody to distract you from the work if they let him. That's right. That's the devil's teaching. That's that right. doctrine was here before I was born. That's not a new teaching. Mm. Uh-uh. No, there's many churches in America mm. that teach the same thing. You have no business tarrying. Someone as far as teaching, there's no more speaking in tongues. My Lord. All of that is rubbish. That's rubbish. That we're going to gather in the South. 
and <laughs> burn it. That's right. All right, come on back tomorrow. Don't go to your church. Yeah. I don't care what position you have. Don't need to go to your church. Amen. You Baptist and Methodist and Presbyterian and Lutheran and Catholic, stop going to your church. Yeah. Tomorrow you got to be on the deacon post. You and your post will go to hell. Amen. There ain't no such thing as a Baptist deacon. No. Go ahead. Man. All the officers in the Bible were holy men. Holy men. You're a Methodist deacon, Baptist deacon, non-denominational deacon. What kind of deacon are you? That's right. You better repent of your sins. That's right. And be baptized. That's right. In the name of Jesus Christ. And receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Stop going home to that husband that already have a living wife. Amen. Stop going back home to that wife that already have a living husband. You Amen. might as well stop it. Oh, yes. You can read your Bible and go to church every week. You're going to go to hell just the same. That's right. And brother, when you get in hell, you're going to be there. Oh, yes. All right. Let us all stand. Where's the blind brother that won prayer? Where's he at? Point him up. He, you don't have to bring him up. Just show me where he is. All right. I come there and pray for him. And then I come and dismiss everybody. Don't go to your church tomorrow and don't go to your church no more. <laughs> Everlasting God, in the name of Jesus Christ, maker of heaven and earth, we thank you once again for the power of the gospel, for the word that is preached to every creature that is under the heaven. We thank you over and over how you always give us victory everywhere you send us in the world. Fill the souls with the Holy Ghost like you declared according to your will. Speaking in other tongues that the Spirit of God give utterance. Bless us as we go back to our separate places. Let us have a safe journey and be back tomorrow. Let your peace be upon us. And give us strength. In the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Let every heart say amen. amen. Come on back tomorrow 11 o'clock. Tony Harvin. He loved this program. Thank God he, he fills this program up on his website. And points the people to the truth of God.